So you are gonna need a Cricut or a Silhouette. You are gonna need these fasteners. These came from Walmart and the buttons. This came from Amazon and I'll leave the link. The faux leather actually came from myself. I do sell that, so if you're interested, shoot me a message. You're gonna need the snap button punch, this little tool here, and also a hot glue gun. So this part here I'm showing you first because I skipped over it because I was still learning myself. But I felt like this will be easier. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually taking the two snap pins and I'm going to show you how to put that together so that your button actually snaps closed at the top of the purse where the two pieces meet. So you have two pieces, one that's referred to as the male piece, and you can tell why, and then one that's referred to as the female piece. Now you'll see me folding this in half, and what I'm going to do is take the sharp to there, and I'm going to align it as to where it would be on the actual purse. And I'm going to make sure that hole goes through both pieces, but making sure it does not go through all the way to the back. Now if that does happen, it's not the end of the world because the hole is very, very small. But I'm just showing you how to make the hole so that it makes sure it meets up. So now I'm taking the male piece and I'm going to put the male piece at the top part, which would actually indicate the top of the purse. And then I'm going to snap on the female piece. And there we go. And then I'm actually going to do the same thing but I'm going to put the male piece now on the inside of the purse and make it stick out or come through the front of it. You'll see me do it here. And this is just for demonstration because it was easier for me to show you this way because it's a little bit harder as the purse is bigger and the male piece is actually hard to see. And now I'm adding the female piece and I'm going to grab the little button punch thing and I'm going to punch it together and then it will snap together so it should look opposite of one another and that's how you know you did it right it took me so long to figure this out and you have to use this tool here in order to get it to actually snap shut so you can't skip this step or it will not shut So I did record this part twice, so you're actually going to see the same clip. It looks fairly similar because I wanted to make sure you got it. So I'm just putting slight creases in it. Don't do it too much because you can put a permanent crease, but just enough to where you can fold it. So I'm actually going to take that middle flap and align the holes of the three sides all together. But the middle flap is going to be on the inside. So you'll see me playing around with it. I'm taking the fasteners. And then I'm going to grab that middle one, put it inside, and bring the one from the back of the purse. And I'm going to line them all up. You'll see me kind of fidget around with it. Um, it does take a little bit of time to do, but then once you got it, you got it. And you may have to tug on that inside flap again once the fastener is attached. And then you'll just spread the fastener out kind of like a butterfly. And then we're going to move around to the other side and do the same thing. That middle section is going to come in. I'm going to take the front of the pouch, that hole there, and overlap it with that middle piece. And then take the back piece and then overlap it as well. So again, it's going to take a little bit of work. And then you're going to also do the butterfly or spread out the fastener again. And that'll put the purse together for you now you can use the snap buttons for this it is just a little bit harder because the purse is now a little bit wider so you will have to kind of crunch or bend the purse a little to get it to fasten which is perfectly fine i do apologize for my hands not being on there but i'm just lining up the um holes 
There you go. I'm just opening up the butterfly. Alright, next I'm doing the same thing. I'm aligning the holes at the top of it. And you may have to use your little tool again to line it up. But put the fastener at the top, put it in the bottom, and then you are going to do the butterfly again with both pieces. There we go. And I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing to the other side as well. Now this step right here, this is actually to protect the purse itself from falling apart from the kids trying to grab those little pieces. Um, you're just gonna take the hot glue and cover that up with the little circle pieces um, there. Now I will say in the future, I do not plan on using these to secure it because I'm afraid if the child actually um, rips off the circle and then gets to the fastener that that can be a choking hazard. But since this is just for demonstration purposes, um, this is fine. But I do suggest trying to get the fastener to work instead of actually using this method here. And then I also put the other two on the inside as well. And this is the end result. The bow is a template from Etsy. Make sure you like, share, subscribe for more videos. I will try my hardest to make sure I stay active on here, y'all. Um, if not, make sure you follow me on TikTok as well. Bye.